Hi everybody, this video will show you how to create a hidden bookcase passage in Minecraft. Now that you can't put switches, buttons, or pressure plates behind pictures anymore, I used a new idea I saw mentioned in a forum. Now there aren't any visible buttons or switches here. The way to activate it is to jump on top of this bedside table and toss something up on top of this pressure plate. And there we are. And it automatically closes as well. Now we pick this back up and we have everything back in our inventory again. So in order to make this, uh, first you're going to need a pulse limiter. So you need two blocks with a repeater and you set that to a four delay. And you're going to need a couple of redstone there, there, there torch this side, a torch on that side, and now I'm going to run a bit of redstone so you can see what this actually does. And you can see when we activate it with a redstone torch, it's active and then it deactivates. I'll show you that again. Drop the torch, it's active, and then it deactivates. So that'll send a signal and then that signal will stop. And it's important so that if you forget to leave the block or whatever it is you toss on top of the pressure plate, um, then it won't, uh, it won't, the mechanism won't be stuck. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is an RS nor latch. You make that by putting blocks here and here torches down the middle, placing two redstone here, two redstone here, the outputs come out here, and the other output comes out here. Set, we'll have this be the set part of the latch on this side, and reset on this side and when you drop a torch the latch will stay set even if the inputs disappear. So now when we reset the output switch if we walk over to the set part and drop a torch the outputs switch and even when you take the torch away the outputs are still the same. So that lets us keep a signal for as long as we need it until we reset it later. That will keep the first two pistons there in that same setting until we reset it. All right, so now it's time for the hardest part of all, the pistons. So set two pistons here. These are sticky pistons sticky pistons here and now we're going to need a way to activate both of them independently so that the redstone circuits don't interfere with each other. So in order to do that we're going to need to do two blocks here, the redstone torch right behind on that block and when we take it away it pulls the pistons, the other pistons back. And we put it back again and pushes them. So now we'll have a line here that'll activate the back two. And just to show that we can activate it down this redstone wire. Torch here, take it away, and that activates them again. So now to do the other two, we set a torch on this side of the block. And we need a way to run a redstone wire up to that do that by setting a block here, 
and then running. Wait, we need to set the redstone torch on this block. And now we can run the wire up to that torch. Now to demonstrate that we can send a signal down that wire and it works. It's a torch, Get rid of the torch, and now it's active. So now we'll need to create the last two pistons. Okay, so now we'll retract the pistons so we can do the last two sticky pistons. It's important to retract them in the right order because sticky pistons won't pull back other sticky pistons unless they're already retracted. That means we have to retract these far ones first. Let's drop a torch. That's those two. Drop another torch here. Takes care of the other two. And now we can do the last two sticky pistons. Place them here. We can fill in these blocks here. Torch goes on the side of this block here. And then we'll create a line just to demonstrate that we can activate it with the redstone wire and deactivate it. And there it is out again. There's one more thing to mention before I show you how all the pieces fit together. If you drop a block, there's a slight delay before you can pick it up again, so you can't immediately jump from the bedside table to pick up the block you just tossed up there. You have to wait a second or so. Because of that, we'll need some redstone repeaters to slow down the initial signal from the pressure plate. Okay, so here's how everything fits together. First, um, the line that comes in from the pressure plate is here. There's also a button just to, uh, to test it. Makes it a little bit easier. So this line runs up and over this output line from the RS NOR latch and goes around here into a pulse limiter like I showed you at the beginning of the video. And then we have go up over the output of the RS NOR latch again with six repeaters set to the maximum delay. That comes down to here. And it goes into the set of the RS NOR latch. The other line comes in from the button that we use to activate it from the other side. And because it's 16 long, you're going to need one repeater here to keep the signal going into the RS NOR latch. So regardless of whether you hit it with a button or with the pressure plate, it will activate. But if you hit it with a button, it will skip over all of those redstone torches and activate it right away instead of with the delay. And from the output, that goes into a torch to turn it off. And then we have three more repeaters here going into the actual pistons. The third one comes from below, and I'll show you that in a minute. In order to get the front two pistons to retract first, we add a repeater with a minimum delay to that line, and two repeaters with a maximum delay to the line that goes to the back pistons. That way, the front two pistons will already be retracted by the time the back two pistons retract. Otherwise, the front two pistons won't be pulled. All right, so running down to the next level here. Uh, first of all, the next level is after these two repeaters down here. So let's go down and take a look. That line comes down here, runs along these dirt blocks into this next mechanism here. 
And this is a pulse lengthener. So this is what determines how long the third set of pistons is actually active for, which is the length of time you have to get through. So to demonstrate what this actually does with an input signal, and wait, I need to move the torch one more block up. Uh, two, two blocks. All right, so it's active for a period of time and then it deactivates. So that line runs up. to along the left there, up to the last piston, the last pair of pistons. And the last touch we need is there's one more RS nor latch in the lower level. Just as a quick recap in case you didn't see before, the output of those repeaters goes into a NOT gate here, and this is just a regular old AND gate here. So, down to level 4, that output goes into two spots. One goes into an, oh, actually both go into NOT gates. One goes directly into the set of the RS nor latch, the other goes into four repeaters at maximum delay. The output goes into a NOT gate, and then now we have a couple of repeaters to bring the signal all the way back up to the reset on the first RS nor latch. And that will put the pistons back. The, the first two pistons will go back to their original positions. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial video on how to create a secret bookcase passage. I hope you'll create your own designs based on this one and make your own videos.